Hello everyone. This video we're going to learn how to use one fiber optic cable to connect to a multi IP camera system. So this basically means we're going to use one Ethernet cable and connect our main network to a multi IP camera system far away. Why use a fiber optic cable? Well, fiber optic cables can transmit further distance than Ethernet cables, although the bandwidth will be higher, much more higher. And comparing to Ethernet cables, because it transmits fiber, uh, optic signals, the signals allow the whole cable to be mostly made of plastic. This plastic will make our transmission process safer because it's plastic, it doesn't conduct electricity surges from anywhere, and so the both sides of the fiber optic cable are really safe. And also, since it transmits optic signals, we're basically just like laser lights, laser beams sending the signal, it's hard to intercept because it travels at the speed of light. Even if you can intercept it, it's hard to decipher as well. So we can benefit from this if we are connecting uh, IP camera system far away from our main network, maybe in like t 100, uh, over 10, 100 meters or 20, 100 meters. We can use fiber optic cable, it will benefit us greatly. So since this can benefit us this much, how should we connect this whole system and make it workable? Well, first we have to know that optical signal to digital signal requires two components. One is a media converter, which is what we can understand as a translator. It makes these to convert to, to the, crack the perfect signal for its process. And then we need these two, well, this pair of SFP modules, which is small form factor pluggable. You can think of these two combine each other and they will capture the optical signal and trans uh, convert it to a digital signal or the other way around. It's just really important in this process. And if we want to introduce this fiber optic cable to a PoE system, this is the best way we can do it with. So on the other end today, we're going to imagine we're setting up an IP camera system inside, well, outdoor. Not inside this time, outdoor. So we're going to use this kind of PoE switch, which is an outdoor PoE switch. What's so great about this PoE switch, we can see it is made out of a metal housing. This metal housing will prevent the dust and water from infiltrating inside. And if it doesn't go inside, then our components will be perfectly protected. And then it also, metal housing will help its heat releasing process. So it has a very wide working operation and temperature. And when we open up the lid, you can see it's inside. It's nothing much complicated, just PoE ports, Ethernet ports, which kind of connects to our IP devices, like this panel to zoom camera here. And this one SFP module port, this SFP port will help us, well, we can think of it as an uplink port, all the data that come, goes to the IP devices and more from the IP devices back to our main network. They all gather from here and for the uplink process. So this is a power supply right here. We can connect it to our alternating current outlets far on the other end. And this is just other things are just ordinary than regular switches. So once we have this set up at the other end, now I'll show you guys how to step by step set up this whole camera system and we'll see the image on the camera right here. So first of all, let's go to our main network system right here. We have a monitor and NVR. So we're gonna connect this whole thing our fiber optic cable to the NVR. So first we're gonna take our media converter, connect it to the NVR. This small media converter is our fast cabling model and it is really beneficial because it works on 12 volt power. So basically it's really easy to power up. And now we have it connected to the power. You can see all the indicators are on. And right now I will plug in an SFP module right here. After it's plugged in, take the cover off. This is for protecting the dust to go inside. And then quick tip for connecting fiber optic cables. If you have a duplex cable like me right here, we have to use the matching lines or the signal cannot go through. So now I've got line B and I'm gonna insert it to the SFP module. 
So on our first, on one end, our connection is complete. Now we're going to take line B and take the SFP module. SFP module goes in first to the power, the switch right here, the outdoor switch, and then we take the cover off. Usually it goes through these waterproof knobs right here, but since it's going to take a real long process to not uh, to screw it on and off, I'm going to save some time and just do it over the lid. So when we're using this as water protective measurements. We need to go through here, these little holes, and then screw it as tight as we can so the water cannot leak in, smaller in there anyways. And now we can see that the indicators are on, and I'm going to plug my Ethernet cable here. So from this uh, PoE switch to our camera is another 100 meters, so we can go another 100 meters far away. It's pretty benefit, really convenient. So once I plug in the Ethernet cable, I'm going to plug in camera and it should self initial check and here it is now let's just patiently wait for a few seconds and then the camera should show some image on our screen here